Okay, so I had a lot of my friends and everybody asking me how I was making my rug, my rag rug. And I was going to inbox everybody and give you guys all the information on how to make it. But then it was a lot of people, so then I just decided it would be easier if I just did a video. So, this is the rug. I'm doing mine in, in red, white, and blue because the theme in my living room is red, white, and blue. If you could see, like... <clears throat> It's going to be a very big rug. It actually hangs off the edge of the table, too. It's going to be very, very large. Because this is going to cover my living room. And this right here, what's recorded so far, or what I have right here so far, done, has taken me 18 hours. So this is definitely, it takes time to do this. It's not going to be something you get done really quick. So, like I said, this is done 18 hours just in itself. So, to get started, because mine is in red, white, and blue, um, you get uh, fabric. Jersey material is best. Um, I've never tried anything else because it's my first one, but I had done some research and all that, so Jersey material is best. So, I got Jersey material in red, in white, and in blue. And I don't do any certain pattern or anything. I just kind of eyeball it and see if there's too much white in an area, and then i got to start doing another area. So the first things first, you <clears throat> can get your material, go to Joann's, I bought all mine at Joann's, 50% off because I had coupons, and there's this material right here. This is called a rug canvas, and they roll it out, it's just like you buy it just like in materials you would your fabric, and <clears throat> they have it, oh god I don't remember how much I paid for it, I think it was like $7.99 or something, but I have a 50% coupon, so I got 50% off of it. Anyways, if you get close in, you can see like there's grids. They sell something at Walmart that Leslie thought was it, and it's not it. That's like a rug, um, it, it's a rug, rug grip, and that is completely different because if you try to use that, you're going to bust the rug grip, and you're not going to be able to do your knots and all that. This stuff is pretty, I mean, this stuff is... It works. I mean, you take a look at this. It's not going nowhere. It's got these, like, little bubbles and all that. Actually, the bubble side, you can see, is on this side right here. And I used, I decided to use this as the downside to grip the carpet, or actually the tile floor that I have. So I use this side as the downside to grip, and then the smooth side is the side that I'm using to put all the, the fabric on. <clears throat> so, like I said, there's actually two ways to do this. And if you look, there's one side it's knotted which is this side, and then there's latch side right here, which I started doing. And I decided that I like the knotted side better, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this and not do latch. But it's up to you, so I'm gonna teach you how to do them both. I'm gonna teach you how to knot and how to latch instead. Um, <clears throat> first off, you don't wanna do every single hole. It's gonna take you forever. If you do every single one, it's, I mean, look, this is plenty full, and I did every other hole. And this is really a full rug already. If you do every hole, I mean, it's gonna take double the amount of time that I've done on this. So it would be a lot longer for me to accomplish this. So here we go. When I am latching, first of all, you cut these into strips. It doesn't really matter the size. You just want, what, six inches or so? And you know, maybe an inch or two across. No big deal. I mean, I just eyeball them. You don't have to be specific, but you want enough so that it can hang up, hang off, you know, be all shaggy. The more, the longer that you have, the shaggier rug is gonna be. For me, I didn't want it too shaggy because I got kids and that's a lot of shaking out and a lot of upkeeping on it. So I just decided to go with a little bit smaller shag. So first thing I do when I'm latching is I will take it, this thing, and I'll fold it in half. And then I will grab the edge right here and I'm gonna start rolling it in like this into a, like into it, each other so that it's got a nice little circle and then I'll roll it with my finger. Yeah, okay. And so now I have this. It's just a nice small area because you gotta fit it through the loop. So now you'll take it and I'll look in here where there's a, where I can throw it. Let's just do it right here. Okay, so here's, I latch and I decided not to go with latching. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. So <clears throat> this is latched onto this line right here. And here's the line that I'm not going to do because we're doing every other one. So here's the other line. This is the other line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push this through so that it comes through the other end. And then I'm going to pull it. See? And you can pull it halfway to the middle. Can you see it with the light? You're kind of blocking the light. 
There you no, go. I can't see it any other way. Like this. Maybe come over here. On this end. Now I can see it. Oh, okay. So now you got it halfway through. And now you're just going to knot. Tighten a knot. And another knot. And there you go. It's done. And then you would do the next one. So normally I would probably just do a couple rows. Like I said, I don't ever uh, have a pattern or nothing I go by. So I fold it in half. And then I'm going to start rolling it in. Rolling it in so it goes through the thing. Now I have it smaller so it'll fit. Okay, so this one is, is knotted into this one. So I skip this one and I go to the next one. And now I'm going to pull it through. About halfway through. And now I'm going to tie it into a knot. And then you would leave them. Sometimes you get some really long ones. And if you do, just get a pair of scissors and cut off the end. You know, go ahead and minimize it. So this is how you do the knotting of them. <clears throat> you do the edges, everything. Which is nicer. Yeah, I like it. It's nicer lessons, right? This, this is latching. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the knotting and the latching. Yes, you can. I mean, you can in person, but I don't know if you could tell on the video. There's a difference. And like when you latch, they go straight up. Look, like here's latched. And it, it sticks straight up. You know, it's going straight up instead. And when you're knotting, it goes fuller because you see they're pushing out to the sides. And so they're kind of going everywhere. And I really like that look versus this one because this one's kind of just straight up. It actually reminds me of those onions on uh, Super Mario, you know, that you got to pull them out from the ground. I think it was Super Mario 2. <laughs> and they pull the onion out and you hold it above your head. That's what these kind of remind me of, like the underneath and then the, the green part is up here. Anyways, so this is the naughty that you would do. And go ahead and you just get this rug canvas, the size that you want to do your carpet. So if you want to do like a rug for the um, bathroom, like for the shower, that's a really good idea. I heard that you can use terry cloth. I haven't tried it yet, so don't ask me any questions about it because I don't know yet. But I heard you can use terry cloth. And it's a lot better, like I said, a shag rug would cost me a lot of money. And I got kids and they're going to destroy it. So I wanted to make something. This is going to cost a lot of money too, but nowhere near like a shag rug would cost. And this is homemade. Where else am I going to find a shag rug in these colors? You know, to match my thing. At least this is, this is homemade. It's done to fit the theme of my room, my living room. So I'm going to show you how to do the latching one. <clears throat> First of all, you got to get this tool. I think it was like $1.18 at Walmart. It's, I don't know what it is. It's some latch thing. I just was using it for the hook care. And so you can get them on eBay. You can get them anywhere. I said it was a buck 18 or so. It wasn't even much. $1.35 maybe. Not quite remember the price. Anyway, so you're going to take your material right here. Fold it in half. And then go ahead and fold it in half again in the center. So you're just minimizing it. You're making it smaller. And then you're going to fold this part in half. And now what you're going to do is you're going to... <clears throat> Find the, the hole that you're going to need. Like I said, we're skipping every other one. So like, we'll go to this one. You're going to put your tool through it, through the, the hole that you need, and put your material there onto the, the hook. You see how you got the hook there? Now you're going to pull it through. So you've got it pulled through now. Now you're going to take this and you're going to grab the other material and you're going to pull this material through the hole. I would even grab, I normally grab it like this, and I lift it up, and I pull the other one through. And then when it gets like this, instead of yanking and yanking, trying to get it out, I just let it go, put the tool down, and I grab it, and I pull it through. So, now you have it latched in, and then you want to take your fingers and put it down on the base of it, and pull. So that you can make it smaller, so it's not taking up all the room. And I usually grab it. So now you have it on there. And then when you're doing it, be careful too, because remember, this is the second one that you're going to skip. And it's there. A lot of people, will, you probably forget and not see it and think, okay, I'm skipping this one and going to this one. And that's not it, because you're missing, you got a line right here. But when you're latching, the base of it is, is a little bit thicker and fatter. So then you would latch this one next. I don't know, do you think I should do another one latching? To show? Mm-hmm. Okay. But don't do the latching. Huh? 
Like, I told him, don't do the latching. Oh, yeah, don't do the latching. <laughs> well, you can do it if you want. I mean, it just depends on how you like the rug. I mean, if this is how you want it, then I would latch. But if you want the more fuller, thicker look, I would do the knotting. So, do the knotting. Here's a white one. Like I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to take somewhere around the center and you're going to fold it in half again. And then you're going to take the long way and you're going to fold it in half. So you got it across your finger. Now you're going to get your tool. Remember, we got to skip this one because this is the line that we're skipping. You can go to the next one. You're going to put your tool through it. And then you're going to put your material under the latch and pull your material through to the hole. Now you got it in there. Now you're going to take this and you're going to grab your material. Grab the loop over here that you have. Grab the loop and pull your material through. Remember, see, look, I'm trying to yank it all through and it's not going to go. You're going to end up ripping it. And I've ripped a few because I've tugged too hard. Now you take it out and just pull it through. Separate it. Put your finger at the base and pull so you're tightening the knot on the bottom. See, like this is, these are way longer when you're done with it. They're longer than these ones. These, this is the knot and this is the latch. So I would come across with some scissors and I would trim it so that it's not abundantly long. Anyways, like I said, this work has taken me about 18 hours to do so far. I still have a long way to go, as you can tell. And it still hangs off the table too. Right here. <clears throat> This work right here is taking me 18 hours to do, and this right here is nine yards so far in just this area. So can you imagine how many yards I'm going to have to do to cover this? This right here is a yard of each, so that'll be 12 yards when I get this in. So that's my tutorial on the shag rug. I'll probably take pictures, obviously, when I'm done, and I'll post so you guys can see the whole rug. And that's it. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, go ahead and... And click that you like the video if you do. And um, go ahead and comment also on what you guys think. If there's anything confusing about it, and I'll try to answer your questions. Okay?